Okay, back to primary flight display. The display provides increased situational awareness to the pilot by replacing the traditional six instruments with an easy to scan display that shows the horizon, airspeed, altitude, vertical speed, trend, trim, rate of turn, and more. An MFD is a multi-function display, a cockpit display capable of presenting information, navigational data, moving maps, terrain awareness, etc. Um, to the pilot in configurable ways, often used in concert with the PFD. FD is the flight director, an electronic flight computer that analyzes the navigation selections, signals, and aircraft parameters. It presents steering instructions on the flight display as command bars or crossbars for the pilot to position the nose of the aircraft over or follow. The FMS is the flight management system. It's a computer system containing a database for programming of routes, approaches, and departures that can supply navigation data to the flight director or autopilot from various sources and can calculate flight data such as fuel consumption, time remaining, possible range, and other values. INS is Inertial Navigation System. It's a computer-based navigation system that tracks the movements of an aircraft via signals produced by onboard accelerometers. The initial location of the aircraft is entered into the computer and all subsequent movement is then sensed and used to keep the aircraft's position updated. Number 83, what is the function of a magnetometer? <clears throat> a magnetometer is a device that measures the strength of the Earth's magnetic field to determine aircraft heading. It provides this information digitally to the AHRS, which then sends it to the PFD. Number 84. When powering up an aircraft with an FMS RNAV unit installed, how will you verify the effective dates of the navigation database? The effective dates for the navigation database are typically shown on a startup screen that is displayed as the system cycles through its startup self-test. Does an aircraft have to remain stationary during AHRS system initialization? Some AHRSs must be initialized on the ground prior to departure. The initialization procedure allows the system to establish a reference attitude used as a benchmark for all future attitude changes. Other systems are capable of an initialization while taxiing as well as in flight. Number 86, which standby flight instruments are normally provided in an advanced avionics aircraft? Every aircraft equipped with electronic flight instruments must also contain a minimal set of backup standby instruments usually conventional round dial instruments. They typically include an attitude indicator, an airspeed indicator, and an altimeter. Number 87, if one display fails, the PFD or MFD, what information will be presented on the remaining display? In the event of a display failure, some systems offer a reversion cap cap capability to display the primary flight instruments and engine instruments on the remaining operative display. Number 88. When a display failure occurs, what other system components will be affected? In some systems, failure of a display will also result in partial loss of navigation, communication, and GPS capability. Reference your specific POH. 89. What display information will be affected when an ADC failure occurs? Inoperative airspeed altitude and vertical speed indicators shown with red X's on the PFD indicate the failure of the air data computer. Number 90. What display information will be lost when an AHRS failure occurs? An inoperative attitude indicator shown with a red X on the PDF indicates failure of the AHRS. And 91, 
How will loss of a magnetometer affect the AHRS operation? Heading information will be lost, and for an exam tip, be prepared to answer questions about any and all equipment installed in the aircraft. For example, if your aircraft has an autopilot, have in-depth knowledge of its operation even if you rarely use it.